Time now for our Media Eye Moments, where we check in on the day's bias, buzz, and bull in the world of cable news and beyond. In the wake of the bombshell leak of the draft Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, there has been a huge game of guess who did it? And here's something that might shock you or not. The guesses of who was behind the leak fall almost exactly along partisan media lines. Start with Fox legal expert Jonathan Turley, who knows it must have been a liberal. This was a malicious act, and the only reason to leak it was to try to create external pressure to change the position of the court and maybe encourage Congress to pass this federal abortion law to try to federalize the abortion area. Except the dean of the Supreme Court bar, NPR's Nina Totenberg, suspects just the opposite. But I think the only one that makes sense is that it came from somebody who was afraid that this majority might not hold, that Chief Justice Roberts might persuade one of the conservatives to come over to him in a much more moderate opinion. And CNN's Joan Biskupic even vouched for the liberals while on NPR. From the liberal end, the, the three remaining liberals uh, on the court, Justices Stephen Breyer, Sonia Sotomayor, and Elena Kagan, uh, first of all, from what I know of them, they would never have been party to anything like this, and I doubt that their clerks would have been. But back on Fox, Brian Kilmeade assures us that the leaker had to have been a wily lefty. Whoever this leaker is, they are a huge asset to the Democratic Party. Anybody working at the Supreme Court is really smart. They are top of their class, and they knew exactly what they were doing, undermining and politicizing the Supreme Court. But former Democratic Senator Al Franken took it a step further in the other direction, pointing the finger directly at one conservative justice by name. I'd say the leaker isn't a liberal clerk, but Justice Sam Alito. He's very proud of this draft and knows that, you know, there are some crazy things in it, stuff he's very proud of, but that, that can't possibly survive. All right, look, I don't know who leaked it. I suspect it's someone on the left, but it ends up benefiting the right by solidifying the majority. But I don't know. And anyone who tells you that they do, I take that with a huge grain of salt. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.